Okay, so since everyone's talking about their predictions as to what they think will be hit on the upcoming ban list, potentially hitting on March 1st, I thought it would be quite a fun idea to share what, at least personally, I think a great ban list would look like. Now, I want to keep these thoughts as realistic as possible. You know, I think that really what we can expect is maybe a VFT ban, a ban send limit. But I do think in theory, there is quite a large list of cards that should be moved. So this is for one going to be me talking about what I would want out of a ban list personally, but also what I think isn't like totally unimaginable for Konami to implement. Since it is, like I said, quite a large list, I will try to go over it at quite a reasonable pace, but I still want to give insight as to why I think a certain card should or should not be hit. So with that being said, let's get into it. For the ban section, I only see three cards realistically getting banned, and that is VFD. For one, I think that card needs to be gone. Zaxel needs to be gone, as well as LP. So for Zexel and VFD, I don't want to spend too much time. I think a lot of YouTubers and just other people in the community have already addressed this quite a lot. These cards are just unfair and they just straight up need to be gone. Like there is not really a lot to discuss about. LP is a bit more interesting. So I have a couple of reasons why I think LP has to go as well. The first reason would be that if VFD should get banned on the next list, Dragon Link is a very high contender, you could say, for the spot of being the best deck in the format once again and we already went out of a dragon link format going straight into a dragon link format again would be quite boring so that is one of the reasons i think the second reason for me would be that lp has always been a problematic card i think a lot of cards on the ban list could come off the ban list if lp were to get banned because dragons have notoriously been broken in the last like one to two years so i don't know like at some point it's just enough like this <laughs> like all the dragon players have had enough fun at this point i think third reason i think that even in the current format lp is just too strong like I, if i look at the top 10 players on dueling book right now i think that just about half of them are playing uh, dragon link right now i don't know man I, th I just think their cards are a bit too unfair and like it's gotten to the point where eventually like it just has to go and i feel like right now is a very good time for new decks to shine essentially before i talk about the limited section i want to say most of these cards i want to see go from banned to limited and for most of these cards the reason is that i feel like they just don't do enough in today's format because they're either power crept or they just never deserve to be on the ban list in the first place and the first card i want to talk about is blaster i think blaster is a good extender it's a pop but man, like fire decks, I mean, the last fire deck that, that was like really popular was obviously Salomon Great, and that was a, a great deck, of course. I don't even know if people would have played Blaster in that deck. I don't feel like in today's format, Blaster would be super oppressive. Just from reading this card, I just don't think that it could do so much. Harp Horror is obviously a card that a lot of people have discussed recently. And I do think that if Harp Horror were to come to one, it would give Orcus a decent boost. I don't think they would be like tier one or anything, not even close. I think they would be a nice rogue deck still. Uh, it would also promote this Grab Raptor and potentially would even be a bit too strong if that card came out. But for now, I do feel like Harper is a card that could be at one. It wouldn't destroy the format. At last, Orcus was quite a cool control deck that everyone enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, give Orcus the one Harper. I don't really see why why not, right? Thunder Dragon Colossus should be at one. Now, everyone that's not new to the channel already knows this from me. Here's a link to a video where I just talk about why Thunder Dragon Colossus should be limited. I don't really think the comparison between VFD and Colossus holds up. Like, no monster effects is way worse than no searching. There are a lot more cards that interact with Colossus in comparison, like Impermanence, Chalice, Kaiju's, Droplet, Dark Ruler. So yeah, I made a whole case about that card, like I said. Uh, you can check that out if you want to, but uh, I just think that this card would be fine at one, and also Thunder Dragon is quite unplayable right now, so it would make the deck at least like Rogue Tier or Tier 2. You cannot really have a banlist discussion without talking about Pendulums, I guess. Uh, and, I, and I personally, I think that all three, like um, Monkey Boards, Skull Crowbat Joker, as well as Electromite, can all go to one. I don't really think Pendulums do a whole lot in this format. Pendulums always had the problem of them having to play a lot of engine cards, so they couldn't really play hand traps. And as we've experienced in the last one and a half years, no format has been played without hand traps. So if you're not able to play these, your deck is basically bad in a way, right? So, yeah, I think all these cards can come back to one. Um, I mean, if they do something, just ban them again. Yeah, I just I just don't really see the point of having them banned. The other cards that are left would be Benton to one, as well as Sanguine to one. These are very meta-relevant cards right now, and that are both at uh, three. So Benton, I think, should be limited because Raichon is uh, way too powerful, obviously, right now. It is uh, definitely a top three deck. 
and limiting Ben 10 seems really reasonable. I mean, they, they abuse the effect all over, all over, all over during the turn and hitting the dry turn cards is not really a Konami thing they would do. And then Sanguine Limit is better than like any any other card in the deck. And I think the Eldritch engine had its moment for the, for the past year. And I think also from there, it is time to move on. You really have to hit the uh, the engine cards to the point where they cannot recycle them all over again and they have to play worse cards like the Black Awakening and, and, and White Awakening or whatever they're called, right? Um, so yeah, I think that there is definitely a case to be made for both of these cards going to one. And I think Benton is very sure to come to one. Sanguine is maybe a bit, you know, it depends on how Konami feels about these cards, but I would welcome it quite a lot. On my channel, we're definitely not going to talk about a semi-limited list. I think this list is quite unpopular on the ban list and for good reason probably. So here are all the cards that I would personally put at three. I mean, there's quite a lot of them, honestly. Like there's, it's like 14, I think. So the first one being Double Iris Magician. Come on, that, that card doesn't do anything anymore. Pendulum Magician, like past its prime. Just put it at three, doesn't do anything. Infernity Archfiend is a card that I've seen a lot of people talk about recently for some reason. And yeah, I don't really see a reason why this card should not be a three. Like, um, I know there are some stupid combos with it maybe, but in all honesty, like, I don't really think Infernity is going to do anything in, 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 in 2021. Red MD is a card that got errata. If it's errata, it's a one hard once per turn. Like having the card at three doesn't really do anything. You can only special it once even, I think. So yeah, just put that card to three. Previously, I talked about LP being banned. And if LP should get banned, I would like to see at three Destrudo. I would like to see Black uh, Dragon Collapse Serpent as well as Eclipse Wyvern. I think all of these cards could be at three if LP was banned. These were all cards that sort of suffered from Dragonlink being one of the best decks in the format. Uh, Destrudo, I don't think that Destrudo was merely banned because it is a good tuner extender for Needle Fiber. I do think that Dragonlink was the main reason and it would have been busted honestly in last format as an additional extender that you, you know, can discard with Chaos Space or Dragon Ravine or all of these crazy cards. Uh, so I think it can come back to three. It is a hard one's baton and honestly, even when this card got banned, no one really complained about it at the time. So it was quite... Like, no one really understood why it was banned. In hindsight, maybe, you know, for Dragonlink, it was for the better, but still, I think it can come back if LP was banned. Black Dragon Call-Up Serpent, I mean, even if LP was uh, at, at three, like, this this card could come back to three, honestly, I think. Um, Chaos Space makes it so that you can always have uh, one baby dragon for the following turn anyway, because you can just shuffle the other one back, right? So, I really think uh, this card at three does anything. That's that. And for the third card, Eclipse Wyvern, I do think that this card... You know, it doesn't have a hard, once, a hard once per turn clause. I don't know, man. I, th I think that if LP were to get banned, Dragonlink would lose a lot of its, of its good extenders. It would lose its main combo. It just wouldn't be the same, right? And Eclipse Wyvern helps out the deck. It helps out Thunder Dragon in some ways, so that would be quite nice. Um, just Chaos decks in general, I feel like, gets an... Uh, gets a consistent way to Levionaire that you wouldn't have anymore without LP because Brotor Surge wouldn't be a thing really, except Brotor Surge, you know, maybe off the Heretic Seal. But all in all, I don't think that this card would be too problematic, but uh, especially with this card, I would like to know your opinion in the comment section down below, so let me know. But yeah, like I said, personally, I think this card could be a three if LP was banned, no problemo. Next up would be Hero Lives to three. Realistically, I don't see anyone complaining about heroes being too strong. The only really problematic card could be Dark Law, and if they consistently get out the Shadow Mist, maybe you know that becomes a bit annoying. But then again, if Dark Law was to become a problem in the format, people would start addressing it, I feel like, and there's no real problem. I think a hero lives can go back to three. Cold by the Grave is a weird one. It is a strong one-off, but come on, like Konami kind of overdid it on this one. I think everyone agrees that this card should be unlimited. It is a bit weird that this card is at one in the first one. I don't know. I don't know. It should be a three. It should be a three. Next card is Raigeki, and Raigeki is not strong enough anymore. Like if we look at all the Break My Board cards, Droplet, Dark Ruler, etc., Lightning Storm, I don't think that Raigeki should be at one. Maybe this is sort of one of these things that they want to keep it at one, so... Uh, you know, certain cards, they have sort of their history on the ban list, and Raikeki definitely was a card that was always either banned or limited, so they don't really want to bring it back. Sort of like Book of Moon for a long time. I mean, Raikeki at 3 wouldn't really do anything, at least in my opinion, so yeah. Putting Salomon Grade Circle at 3 would be a bit of a boost for Salomon Grade, and if we're at that, I don't think that Stalio should come back yet. I'm not too sure, but I always found it to be quite ridiculous when they could throw in a rank 3 or level 3 engine in the deck. 
to be able to get to their, to their Gazelle consistently. But I do think that they are a bit too weak right now and they could really benefit of a consistency card like Salmon Great Circle because Signet Mining is quite an investment for them because they have to discard a card obviously but they could definitely profit off that so that would be quite nice second slide is a card that i also made a whole video about if you want to watch that here's a link to that i think that card should be a three interesting deck building exciting card very interesting fun design of a card i love it so please put it back to three the next card would be scapegoat and scapegoat is an interesting one i do feel like for just about a year this card was extremely good that's why they put it to one when link monsters came out but then the format got a lot faster and nowadays i don't really think that scapegoat at three would be a problem it would at most be very interesting just about all the very good decks in the format are very fast combo decks except for eldritch variant but even then it sort of it sort of conflicts with sanguine because you can only summon zombies so i'm not really too sure i i think that scape could could be nice but um this would be one of those ex experiments i would say almost through the unlimit i do think that multi roll could come back to three i don't really see a reason why not i mean sky striker they don't really do anything and without engage that deck is just not what it used to be so just put multi roll at three gives them a bit more access to ray and yeah last but not least we have true king's return that card got semi-limited on the last list and i think it can come back like there is no reason to put the card at two uh true draco just not the same as it used to be no card of demise no diagram diagram was put to one i think um so yeah just not what it used to be no masterpiece obviously and that card should be banned for good reason uh, but yeah this card can come back to three without a problem right, this was quite a list of cards let me know in the comment section down below what you think about my ideas of the upcoming ban list with that being said i hope you guys loved it and see you.